Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am here to do an empties video. I know I do a lot of empties videos because I use the stuff, and I use a lot of stuff. So I've been really, really, really sick lately. I had the flu, cold a couple times. I'm finally feeling a little better. I want to film some videos, so I figured I'll start out with an empties. I have pretty even amount of home fragrance, uh, body fragrance, as well as body care. So let's jump right in to the home fragrance. The first candle I finished was from Bath & Body Works, and it is the Buttercream Mint. Now, I don't remember a whole lot about this scent burning in my home. I remember the fiasco trying to get one. This, I believe, was Black Friday last year, I want to say, or two years ago. I remember it was a big fiasco. Some stores had it, some stores didn't. It was limited edition. It was like $12. I don't remember. It burned really, really clean, but I honestly do not remember anything else. I don't remember about the throw or anything. Um, I believe it wasn't strong, because if it was strong, I would have remembered. So it wasn't anything. It was just a very boring scent, too. Uh, not impressed. Then from Bath & Butter, I also finished Twisted Peppermint. This camera's going to do this to me. There we go. Twisted Peppermint. And I love this. I get it every year. The wax does turn this ugly gray color, but it smells up my entire house. It smells just like peppermint candies, a little bit of creamy vanilla. I love it so much. I buy it every year. It's a great candle. I finished a fresh balsam. <coughs> <coughs> I finished a fresh balsam candle as well, and this is a pretty label. Um, and this smells just like a Christmas tree, a little artificial Christmas tree. Not plastic, but it doesn't smell like real pine. But it smells like what you would think a Christmas tree would smell like. And I, I like it. I burned it the week of Christmas in my living room by my tree, and it just felt really, really festive. So, fresh balsam from Bath & Body Works. Random in my thing, I burned this in the bathroom when I was taking a bath because when I'm in the bath, I want to burn candles that are not literally my favorite because I'm literally just sitting in the bathtub. So this was the Amsterdam Tulips and Windmills, which is the pink tulip. doesn't have anything to do with the season, but I did finish it, and it smells really good. I've always loved this scent. Um, it smells very, very fresh. I always say it smells like when you open the windows on a fresh spring day and all the flowers come in. It smells really good, although not as good as their flower shop, which they haven't had in forever, and I love that. But that's the Amsterdam, a.k.a. Pink Tulips. I finished this, I think, right towards the end of fall. My classic leaves from Bath & Motor because I have this every year. They all burned really, really great. I didn't have an issue with any of them burning. And this smells really, really great. It smells like apple, cinnamon, spice. Just very... Mm, very, very classic, and it was obviously really strong. Unlike, I'm burning Vanilla Bean Noel right now, and I can't even smell it, so pretty disappointing. And then from another candle brand called 1820 House, I raved about them. I finished one of their holiday candles, Fur and Grapefruit, and this was not super strong. I was kind of disappointed with the, with the throw, but the scent is gorgeous. I might actually pop this out and put this in a tart warmer. I really, really love it and save this jar because the jars are really, really, really pretty. Even though I don't have a lid, it'd be a cute little short vase or something like that. And it smells really, really great and I love that scent. It's um equal parts Christmas tree with a little citrus. So those were all my candles. As far as fragrance goes, I finished a fragrance. I cannot believe I finished a fragrance. Finishing a fragrance takes forever for me. I never ever finish a fragrance and I always buy more. So it's like, does it ever equal out? I feel like it did. I finished the Philosophy Fresh Cream. Doesn't help because I still have another one brand new, but I mean, there's like, oh wow. Yeah, barely any. It smells so good. It smells like the rich creamy cupcake almost but not like sickling sickeningly sweet but it doesn't last on the skin at all so i would not repurchase it's just and i did i have to but i would not repurchase it after that it's just not anything to like write home about like the scent's great but it doesn't last and then i also finished it in 
a body scrub, which was nice. Um, it was a really great scrub. It has a lot of cushion to it, and it bubbles up as well, so you don't have to use a separate cleanser, which I really like. I also finished a couple samples from Joe Malone. I finished Dark Amber and Ginger Lily, which is an intense range, which is in the black bottles, and I wanted to sample this because I do eventually want to purchase the full size, and I don't think there's anything left. No, but it's yummy. I love it. It's very, very strong amber, but the Ginger Lily really brings down the amber, so it's not overpowering. It's great. I love that scent. And then another fragrance I finished is Mimosa and Cardamom, which I actually, I have it right here. I don't do Jo Malone hauls a lot, but um, they're my favorite, fra one of my favorite fragrances, fragrance companies that just does fragrance, is the Mimosa and Cardamom. And I did buy the full size because I loved it so much. And it smells so good. It's a little bit creamy, a little bit powdery, but... In a couple minutes, it blends with your skin and makes it a little spicy. The cardamom really makes it spicy. So it's a great scent. It's awesome for the fall and winter. Then, as far as body care and stuff, I'll start with hair care. I finished. This is my favorite holy grail hair product. It's what I use every single day to keep my hair up. Um, it's the American Crew Fiber. I finished two... And obviously I have another one. It's just, it's one of those products, you know, that you always rebuy. Like shampoo I change, body care I change, you know, fragrance I change, but I don't change my hair product. Like this hair product is in my hair every day. I don't even, even my toothpaste that from Lush the Toothy Tabs, I don't even change those. Like, or I do change those. This is like the only product that I use in my hair every single day. I'm waiting for Lush to come out with a hair product that is like this. I want to order some from the UK to see if they hold this mane up, but we'll see. Then I finished um, from L'Occitane a rose shower scrub. This would have been nice. This is a nice scrub for people who don't like a lot of scrub, and I love scrub. I love the applicator. You actually just uh, oh, twist it open and then push, squeeze it out. But it was not enough scrub. It was way too jelly. And the beads were just, they didn't do it for me. Um, I was happy to use it up and I would never repurchase this. It just, it was not for me. <coughs> <coughs> then I also finished a L'Occitane Revitalizing Shower Gel. Um, this was very uplifting, very citrusy. Um... It's a nice cushion to it, too, and it made me feel really, really deeply cleansed. I finished, oh, I finished also a hand cream and fresh cream. This is actually a funny story. When I pulled out my North Face jacket this year, this had about, like, this much left in it. It's still in my pocket, and when I, like, took it out of my pocket, the little side pocket right here on your breast, I was like, oh, my God, I cannot believe that it was in there, and I got probably, like, two days worth of use i just dropped the cap but probably two days worth of use out of it so now it's in an empties video now it's going in the recycle bin now on to the goodies the lush goodies i finished a big veganese conditioner and i love veganese um it's not enough moisture for my hair in the winter necessarily but as a great everyday one my hair is really really short i like using veganese because american cream or retried are too thick too heavy for it when it's short but it smells great it smells very citrusy like graveyard girl very citrusy um it smells like sprite almost i uh i really love it so that's veganese it's an awesome lightweight conditioner i got a lot of black pots i finished catastrophe or yeah catastrophic cosmetic which is a fresh face mask let's try this again does not want to focus for me there we go. And this is nice. It has blueberries in it. It's the blueberry mask. If you come into Lush and you want to try this, just say, I want the blueberry mask, and they will hook you up. This smells great. It feels great. If you have any breakouts on your face, it will subside them. It's awesome. Don't Look at Me is my one of my favorite masks. It's bright blue. I wish you could see it. It's bright blue. It smells like citrus. It has lemon in it and all to brighten the skin. It also has ground rice in it, so it's really going to exfoliate the skin. And really, just, I love this scrub. It's my favorite because, or this mask, because it does have the scrubby in it. I finished a 
finished I finished a moisturizer, Cosmetic Lad moisturizer. I wish this would focus. Let's see here. There we go. And this was nice. I really, really like it. It was a nice weight, especially after I shaved. It really helped with the post-shave irritation. Lavender, wheatgrass, and aloe vera. Right now, I'm actually using Celestial, which I really like. Um, as you know, or you might not know, I do work for Lush now. Um, it's my job. It's my permanent job. And I really love it there. I love coming to work every day and seeing everybody, helping people. And... I want to try everything. So, like, I just finished Cosmetic Lads, and so I'm going to try Celestial and use a pot. I figured a whole pot of it gets me pretty familiar with the product. I also finished Dark Angels Face and Body Cleanser. I use these as a face wash. This has charcoal in it. The only thing is you really, really have to rinse it. And I actually had to use Fresh Pharmacy Face Wash after this because it left me in my pores charcoal. So the only downfall with it but it feels really really great on the skin i finished ocean salt it's a holy grail product from lush i love it number one seller i have one in my shower now it's brand new almost it smells great it has vodka infused limes to tone and brighten the skin sea salt and avocado butter sea salt's gonna exfoliate avocado butter is really gonna moisturize it's great love it super moisturizing super exfoliating after I'm done with that one, though, I want to purchase the self-preserving to see which one I like better. Another product, Kalamazoo Beard and Facial Wash. I live for this. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did, but it's a soap-free cleanser, so it's not going to bubble up too much. But the apricot in it really moisturizes the skin, really, really gives you that great soft feeling. And then Rose Argan Body Conditioner. It's a skin conditioner. I love it so much. I want to order the giant tub of it from the UK. It smells like our Rose Jam. It's an in-shower body lotion. So after you rinse your shower gel or whatever you use, smoothie soap, slather it all over your body, let it soak in for a couple minutes, and then rinse it off. Get out of the shower, pat dry, and you are left moisturized all day long. It's incredible. Love it so much. But... Anyway, that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I actually have a, another video that I want to film. Diptyque. I've been purchasing Diptyque candles now for a couple, a couple weeks, and I really love them. I've really gotten deep into the brand and really appreciate the brand, and they're awesome. And I just purchased a fragrance today, Doson. That's all I'm saying. I'm only showing you the box. I want to do a video on it. They're great. They're great fragrances smells so good but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys soon love you bye